Austrian Audio is proud to bring Made in Vienna back. Our first microphones will feature handmade ceramic capsules that we call the CKR12. These are a step forward, but a tribute to our heritage. The heart of any classic mic is the capsule. Our senior acoustic team measured and listened to scores of CK12 and C12 microphones. We had these in our possession, the possession of our friends, and even some from famous artists like Stevie Wonder and Quincy Jones. We listened to and selected and measured the best of these capsules and microphones and built the parameters of our own CKR12 upon these golden units. The capsule output of the CKR12 has been tuned to sound identical to the best vintage CK12 capsules. Modern materials make for more efficient and consistent construction. The old CK12 had an initial failure rate of approximately 65% and they could basically build one microphone per day. Obviously, this would not work if we wished to craft capsules and microphones in Vienna again. The entire microphone influences the sound. We considered everything in building the OC818 and OC18. You'll notice there are no mounting posts inside of the microphone and that they are free floating. Mounting posts will reflect and refract sound back up into the capsule. The full suspension gives it a near free field response and also adds additional isolation from handling noise. We've included an absorber diffuser into the bottom of the microphone to kill off any rogue sound waves that would otherwise reflect back up into the capsule. Now let's move on to some exciting electronic features. Every OC818 and OC18 is factory calibrated for guaranteed sensitivity of each polar pattern. This means that every OC818 and OC18 is a stereo pair and can function together. You can always add one mic to the other at any time. The electronics have been carefully optimized to deliver the CKR12's handcrafted tone directly to the mic pre of your choice. In fact, the entire microphone is engineered as a system and not a collection of outsourced parts. Everything is made here in Vienna. The polar pattern settings are as follows. Figure of eight, hypercardioid, cardioid, and dual cardioid mode for use with the second output. Please see our polar designer video for more on this exciting feature. Then omnidirectional, and at the far right is preset mode. This mode allows you unprecedented polar pattern steering in real time and is unique to our microphones. Make no mistake, however, there is no analog to digital conversion at all. Each OC818 ships with this set to a wide cardioid setting, but a user can store any favored mic setting in this position via the optional OCR8 and the free Polar Pilot app for Android and iOS. Again, please see our accompanying Polar Pilot video for more on this feature. The back of the OC818 microphone features a secondary, or what we call the dual output. This allows access directly to the rear facing diaphragm of the microphone, and via the supplied mini XLR adapter cable, you can discreetly record that second cardioid polar pattern via the second diaphragm. This port also allows you to use the optional OCR8 wireless control dongle for wireless control of polar patterns, high pass filters, and the pad settings. There are three high pass filter settings, two steeper second order filters at 40 and 80 hertz. There's also a 160 hertz filter that's a first order filter and is gentler, but then goes into the steeper second order at 80 and 40 hertz. There are two types of pads on the OC818 and OC18. They are identical between the microphones. The minus 10 dB setting lowers the polarization voltage to the capsule. The minus 20 dB setting adds an additional pad, but this is intended to reduce the signal that is presented to your mic pre's to prevent them from clipping. This should cover the most extreme of situations possible. This is only the briefest of introduction to the OC818 and OC18 microphone systems. Please be sure to arrange a demo of the OC818 and the OC18 at your Austrian audio dealer today.